Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, obviously, we're about to go over this another tip to help you with your GDevelop project tutorial on how to create a loading screen. Now, you've probably seen this so many times in like game development where you have like a screen where it loads up to the next one. And I'm gonna show you how to do it on GDevelop. Let's do it. A couple things you need right quick, right, is first you need some type of trigger for it. So we're just gonna add a button. Again, this could be like if somebody, I guess somebody uh, beat the boss or whatever you wanna do, right? You can have so many different things. So we add a, we also need um, an image or uh, whatever you want your, it don't really matter what the name of it is right now because we just, all right, hit apply. All right, so we have basically a button that's gonna be our trigger to go to the next uh, scene. Let's go ahead and add a scene. We'll go over here and we'll just add a scene. We can just call it, just call it, un, um, it don't even matter. All right, level two, whatever. All right, so let's break down how this is gonna work. So basically when we hit this button, of course it's gonna go to our scene. You are in a, the next scene that we wanted to go to. Um, and But what we want to happen is we want this picture to pop up. So let's go add a layer. I'm, I'm just gonna call it loading. You do not have to name this, um, I'm just saying. All right, and let's go ahead and take this and then put it on top. You might want to preview it to see like where you want it to be at. I think this is fine. And after that, let's just take it and you might have to take your picture and put it in that layer. In order to do that, just come over here to your properties and let's put it on our loading layer. And as you can see, it, it goes on top of our button. So what do we want to do first? First, we want to go ahead and we can go ahead and hide this layer right now. So you don't have to worry about it. We can just hide it right now. We don't have to program that. Let's hide it. We know that this layer is um, hidden. And the event's pretty simple. So we do know that our button gonna have to get clicked, right? So go ahead and get that. Press option to be one. We want to type in the word layer. So, oh, show layer. Show, wanna, want this layer to appear. So show a layer. And let's go ahead and put our loading. Okay, so if you preview this right now, I mean, pretty simple. Boom, it'll pop up on the screen. So we have all this and whatever. All right, now before we have it go to the next scene, we have to put a timer on it. All right, and so what you do is you go ahead and hit wait. One thing you gotta learn about it, it's gonna read the code from top to bottom. And so let's just go ahead and put like four seconds. Press okay. All right, and then obviously we wanna go ahead and change our scene to level two, all right? And so that's it, that's all it takes to actually make a loading uh, a loading screen. Um, and let's go ahead and test this out so you can see how it looks. So again, here's our scene, let's blow it up. We hit the button, boom, it's gonna show what we want them to see. And then at that point, it's gonna go to the next scene. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. Um, definitely go ahead and follow, subscribe, of course. Again, this is another GDevelop essential tutorial for you to be better at creating your games. God bless. Thank you for allowing me to serve you. We out.